Hi everybody, my name is Chuck and I would love to read a book to you guys today. The title is Auto Runs for President by Rosemary Wells and the illustrator is Scholastic Press. Now we just finished an election here in our country where we elected a new president and a vice president. This book is about dogs running for president at their school at Barkadelphia. Let's get started. It was election time at Barkadelphia School. Whoever collects 50 paw prints can run for president of the school, announced Miss Kibler. I wonder who will win, Otto said to his best friend, Melanie. Tiffany will win, shouted all of the popular kids. Tiffany's the cutest and the smartest. Charles, 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 shouted all the sports bugs. Charles is the captain of all the teams. I want to be president, said Tiffany to her mother and father. You're the most popular girl in the fifth grade, dear, they said. We'll help you win the election, no problem. I want to win, said Charles to his mama and daddy. We're on your team, said his mama. We'll make sure it happens, said Charles's dad. Expensive signs went up all over Barkadelphia School. Real bumper stickers were stuck on all of the lockers. By the end of the first day, Tiffany and Charles had already collected all of their paw prints. Charles's dad hired a famous glee club to sing the Bulldog Fight Song at Barkadelphia School football game. Wow, said Otto, they're on a roll. I don't know why they're so popular, said Melanie. They don't even care about anyone but themselves. Suddenly, Otto had an idea. I'm going to run for president, he said. He began by asking his classmates what they really wanted at Barkadelphia School. Who cares for more meat at lunch? I want watermelon in the cafeteria said Bertie. Forget skateboards in the hall. A homework helpline is what I need, said Martha. I'd like five minutes of beautiful music every morning, said Bertina. How about bigger towels in the gym showers, suggested Boris. A class trip to Madison Square Garden dog show would be a big motivator, said Carlos. Our school band needs a set of bongo drums, added Peter. Charles's dad beefed up their campaign. Wapo burgers and shakes. That'll be the day, said Melanie. No fair, cried Tiffany. I'm going to lose. I can hardly breathe. We are way smarter than Charles, said Tiffany's best friend, Ashley and Jasmine. <clears throat> the next morning, post-it notes appeared on all of the lockers. Not true. I've never cheated, growled Charles. No worries, said Charles's best buddies, Mike and Bucky. Mysterious flyers appeared in the cafeteria that afternoon. Tiffany had a meltdown. Not true, it's all lies, she sobbed. We'll fix his wagon, said Ashley and Jasmine. Flashing buttons popped up the very next day. You're not going to be done in by a bunch of buttons, said Mike and Bucky. Overnight, 
a huge banner appeared on one of the gym walls. Meanwhile, Otto collected his 50 paws, one by one. One by one, he listened to everyone in the school, even the kindergartners. They wanted blankets at nap time. Now, I need some campaign cookies, said Otto. We'll make them together, said Melanie. Look at all those cookies. On election eve, Charles's dad hosted a Wapo Burger pep rally. I want to thank you all in advance for voting for me, said Charles. I'm a born leader. And all of them eating Wapo burgers. Tiffany's mother arranged for a pancake breakfast on election morning. It's going to be me, said Tiffany. Me, me, me. Otto just kept passing out his cookies. Everybody got in line to vote. I'm crossing my fingers, said Otto. And I'm crossing my toes, said Melanie. Miss Kibler counted the ballots. She asked Mr. Muzzle, the school principal, to recount them. Finally, the votes were in. Who do you guys think won? We have a new president, said Mr. Muzzle. It's Otto. Everyone cheered, especially the kindergartens. Remember the kindergartens, they got blankets for nap time. But why do you think Otto won the president? Because he talked to all the students and he asked them what they really, really wanted. So Otto became the most popular in the voting. So all of these dogs, they all voted for him because he promised and he was gonna keep his promise and he was going to get them all those things. Thank you all for listening. And I hope you have a great day and enjoy this book. Bye.